A very good afternoon to all of you. Myself, Ravi Kumar Yadav. I am working as Assistant Professor in Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Rama University. Today, in this lecture, we will see about the identification of bacteria using simple staining procedure and its mechanism. So basically, there are several techniques for the identification of bacteria, but we usually determine the type of bacteria using the gram staining technique but for the identification whether a bacteria has been produced or it has been grown in certain conditions we usually identify the presence of bacteria by using the simple staining uh, technique once a bacterium has been obtained in a pure culture it has to be identified so for this uh, different technique for identification of bacteria are being used one of them one of these technique is simple staining technique so first we will see about the introduction of the simple staining technique and its procedure and its mechanism so in introduction we will talk about what the simple staining technique is so simple staining is a method of staining in which bacteria are stained using a single stain here basically the single stain means the one type of stains we basically use for the identification of bacteria usually the simple staining technique is also called as monochrome staining or positive staining the name derived as we uh, know the positive staining so basically we do the simple staining we use the simple staining technique basically to uh, identify whether the bacteria is being present or not so it is called as positive staining example of simple stain which are being used as we know in the simple staining technique we use the simple single stain so uh, the stain that is being used uh, are methylene blue and saffron malachite green and crystal violet further now we will discuss about the simple staining procedure so initially we will take a clean grease free slide and for producing the grease free slide we will usually take the glass slide and we will wash it with detergent and with clean water second we will prepare a smear on the slide so the smear means we will take the sample with the help of inoculating loop so the inoculating loop is basically used so that the sample does not get uh, infected secondly we will air dry and heat fix the slide so the smear that we have produced or that we have introduced to the slide it it needs to be air dried and it needs to be heat fixed basically for air dry we use the techniques such as dry heat we will provide or dry air we will use so that the slide or the smear becomes free from the moisture and other components and heat fix the slide that means we will uh, fix the slide the smear gets adhes on the slide secondly we will uh, next we will flood the slide with the stain so further we will do that we will use any one of the stain that we use basically in the single staining technique and we will flood the slide with the stain now we will allow the stain to react with the uh, with the smear that is being produced on the slide for 3 to 4 minutes so that the stain reacts with the smear that is being introduced over the slide now we will wash the slide under the running water so that the excess amount of stain gets removed from the slide secondly we will air dry the slide and observe it under the uh, immersion microscope or immersion oil microscope basically we use the immersion oil microscope for both the slide or the sample that we have to visualize under the microscope or uh, for the microscope basically we use the immersion oil uh, method to increase the amount of refractive index that basically determines the amount of light rays falling on the uh, microscope so that we get the clear structure and shape of the uh, smear that we have produced now we will talk about the mechanism of simple staining technique so the mechanism starts with this that the uh, cellular component of any bacteria has a number of carboxyl group which are present over on its surface and these groups have the negative charge so when the carboxyl group carry out any ionization reaction it shows that cooh group basically here we can see that cooh group on ionization breaks down into coo minus and h plus in nature these h plus ions are present on the cell surface and further gets replaced by another positive charge ions like potassium and sodium potassium and sodium so when we take any one of the stain 
such as malachite green it is having the chloride ion which is having the cl minus uh, uh, charge over it cl negative charge over it it has the mg group which is bearing the positive charge so when an, uh, any ionization happens on the bacterial surface that is cooh group break, breaks down into coo minus and h plus and when we introduce this malachite uh, green stain to it so the mg plus ion gets replaced to the h plus ions and it forms the bond and further we get the staining so its application basically is that it stain bacteria easily and helps in observation under microscope for easy identification of the bacteria whether it has been produced or not it is also useful study in morphological character of cell that is for determining the shape size and arrangement of any cell thank you